Hey guys, James Wolf here, and today's a is sorry the final episode of 80 Days. Uh, it is going to be a sad day. It is going to be sad when this ends, but we knew it would happen eventually. And you'll notice that everything is gray. I haven't figured that out. I loaded it. I loaded the game in, and, and that's how the thing was. Uh, yeah. Atlanta, then Washington, more than likely. Then New York. And then... Off. Where? One goes to... Reykjavik! Holy shit. And one goes right to London. I kind of figured the London one. Didn't think it would be. I was pickpocketed in New York. I... I was pickpocketed in New York. I seized the thief's hand. It is still in my pocket. You're tangling with the wrong Frenchman. I exclaimed in triumph, only to immediately fumble, getting my other hand caught inside the cuff of my coat. So that the so the, so that is the creature in my grasp squirmed. She, for it was for it was but but a ten year old girl. Pulled me off my feet, leaving me robbed and in the gutter to boot. I immediately, uh, who regarded me with a curious. I've lost 20 pounds. Tell me what that is in real life. Someone reaches into your stomach or wherever and grabs the 20 pounds of fat and just leaves. I mean, I mean, I could stand to lose 20 pounds. And I wouldn't, I mean, I wouldn't mind. Um, and with nothing to say about the foul city of ne'er do wells and hoodlums. Okay, how much does it cost to get home? The game, for some reason or another, is running like absolute ass today. No idea why. Holy shit. Four days. We, we're not going to make it in four days. But now we're... We're now uh, not playing against a clock, so... I mean, yeah. Yay, after I got robbed. That's the fucking girl. The bank has been injured as big in, as any London branch. They would no doubt serve us well. A week. Head back to the hotel.
There we go. Weapons are ready. Six thousand pounds. No, that's the Reykjavik. I mean, I could take the scenic route now, but I kind of just want to get them home. Three days. Thirty... four... No charge. Cool. Tomorrow. Just want to spend one night in a hotel. A hotel. Let's just leave. Let's just leave. I may do another run at this. Now that I've kind of played the game fully through. And can kind of make some better decisions. Ooh, 12, jeez. So I'm going to need to do a lot of caring for Michelle Folk. An airship. Cool. Yeah, this is gonna take a while. We left New York aboard the Henrietta, an old Confederate airship converted to a transatlantic mail carrier. We would reach London in three days, barring any unexpected delay. Oh, good fucking God. Help us. Uh, adventurous fog expected back shortly. The ocean tore along beneath us. I enjoyed talking to no one there. What, uh, there was. I enjoyed talking to no one. There was nothing I needed to know. No one took charm, flatter, or. giving us aid. Uh, only the wind and the time. And we could control neither. Oh. Celebrating f fog must win to save himself, says Banks. Bank. Well, unfortunately, I'm 17 days overdue. Almost a full 20. Monsieur Fogg looked out of the observation deck windows with perfect calm. So the wager was lost and he was no doubtly ruined. I watched him closely for fear he might do something dra uh, drastic. I spent the remaining time one eye on the crew, the other on the ship, ready to react to the slightest trouble. But nothing broke the peacefulness of our day. You know what, if I was a Pespetier, I would stay with Fog, not demanding payment, just because we tethered at the airship dock in Hyde Park and felt for the first time in 98 days the feel of English soil under our shoes. At long last, we had returned to London. Well, now this journey is proving more tiring than I expected. Turn. I hailed one of the steam carriages idling on the banks of the Serpentine in Hyde Park to the Reform Club. I instructed my master shook his head to Savile Row, he corrected calmly, and turned his face to the window. I have m 
most assuredly lost my wager. Soot and fog thickened the yellow light of the gas lamps as we drove th through the streets of London. I searched for some words of comfort for my message. We had lost the wager by an in irrefutable margin, yet I could not help thinking that we had so nearly succeeded. I resisted the urge to seize Monsieur Fogg's ledger to calculate a better route to scrub out some of our mistakes and snatch back our victory one day at a time. My master entered his domicile with his habitual tranquility, though he instructed me to leave the window shut so that his neighbors would not uh, mark his return. I prepared his supper and he ate heartedly as if he were not utterly ruined. Pespicier, he began. Yes, Monsieur Folk. In the silence, silence that followed, I counted up. The vast sums expended, all the obstacles which we had overcome and those which we had delayed us. As a valet, you have been of indifferent use to me, Pespicia, he said, as though remarking upon the weather. But more importantly, you have circumnavigated the globe as my companion, despite the unfortunate protraction of our journey, he said, if it was no small feat. And what will you do now, monsieur? Uh, I asked, trying to emulate my master's coolness and aplomb. My course, pep Pespitia, Monsieur Fogg interjected smoothly. It's fully decided upon. We must attempt the journey around the world once more. <gasps> Together! I cried. Indeed, Monsieur Fogg said. Implacably, an intent light glinting in his cold blue eye. But this time, forewarned and better prepared, we m will succeed. Yes, monsieur. I nodded. Glad I had nothing, not bothered to unpack our case. Monsieur Falk consulted his ledger and tapped his pen. Perhaps this time, he said thoughtfully, a more southerly route. Adventure or er, er, Phileas Fogg loses wager. Fogg blames banks, delays, failure, failed mutiny en route to San Francisco, and arrest in Vladi Vladstock for 98 day journey. Forty one thousand something pounds in debt, traveled eighty five hundred miles, uh, seventy nine hundred, fifty seven hundred. Character shabby hmm. manner, <laughs> conservative, I like sound. Relationship with Fogg. Comfortable. <laughs> Visited 15 of 169 cities. 22,256 miles. Steamships. I like steamships. Um, 41,935 pounds in debt. 8,500 miles by sea. 7,900 by land. And 5,700 by air. Spend 24,000 pounds over zero days. Character is shabby. Okay. Oh, and it begins again. Wow. I didn't think it would actually be that short. This is going to be a rather short episode. Uh, but I'm, I'm going to... I think I'm going to start another one of these... 
either called the revisit or the retry or something. But um, it's not going to be a daily series. It's going to be something I interject every now and then. Um, I'm, I may, it may be a daily series for a little while because I'm, I may be getting sick thanks to my sister and my father. But um, I may need to record a couple of episodes in advance in case I do get sick that way. I'm not missing an upload. Um, but anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. Um, if you liked it, please give it a thumbs up. It's free, it's easy, and it helps me immensely. Uh, if you like what I do and like my stuff and all that, please consider subscribing. It's also free, it's also easy, and it helps me immensely. Um, I like hearing from you guys in the comment section down below. And as always, I will see you guys in the next episode. Have a great, wonderful day. Bye.